So first thing you'll notice, it's a lot wider in the front than it is in the back. Um, that's not just perspective, so you can see it's still wider in the front. That is partly by design. Um, it's a lot more stable having wider wheelbase in front. And it was with this steering assembly I got, it was easier to just widen the front than try to cut the steering assembly down or anything like that. So that's what I opted for. Um, you can see the tires are kind of big. They're 16 inch tires. I measured about 16 and a half when they're fully inflated. Um, and the, uh, you can see the axle here uh, came off of what I think used to be a kid's Chinese ATV kind of thing. Um, the motor formerly was an alternator. Um, it's been rewired to function like a three-phase brushless motor. This is the attachment so that I can um, put a bike trailer on the back to tow my kids around. You can see gigantic rear sprocket there. Um, I think it's like a 94 or 96 tooth. And then I think it's a 12 tooth on there. I can't remember for sure, but um, I made it so that with the no load RPM, the, ab the absolute maximum this thing can go is 20 miles an hour. Um, with me riding, it'll do about 16. Um, so here's a little control panel. I've got an emergency stop that's gotten crooked. Um, a key, key switch, um, you know, simple on off and then forward reverse and a little display there that'll tell me voltage, um, how much current I'm using and all that. Um, steering wheel, kind of obvious on there. Throttle, just a little Hall effect sensor throttle brake. Yeah, it was a bike brake. Um, Keep in mind, if you think about doing something like this, bike brakes kind of suck for this purpose. You really have to jam that thing with your heel to get any kind of real stopping power. So like I said, completed but unfinished. I want to add some more um, metal here on the back and a plate to cover all this up, make it look nice and tidy. I want to extend this and add a second one of these U-bolts to uh, grip that a little better. And then just over time, this piece starts to tilt up like this and it makes the steering a lot harder. I also need to add some kind of steering stop because right now, if you steer it all the way to one side, it just goes too far. And so it kind of locks up. Um, and if your foot's on here, it'll probably kind of hit your foot. Um, so. It kind of locks up if you go too steer too hard because it can go way more than 45 degrees. Look at that, it's huge, obnoxious turning. And then, let's see what else I got. So, yeah, this is where all the electronics are just some mounted in a box to some expanded metal. Got a marine breaker here, handling the positives off of. One, two, three batteries, four, five, six. This can run on three or six. Um, this relay uh, is part of a future plan. Um, there's some resistors on the side here, so it will slowly charge the capacitors um, so I don't get a huge inrush current. And then the relay will click over to, um, what do you call it? It'll click over to uh, activate the main power, which is running through these automotive relays. Each one's rated at, uh, I think about 40 amps, which 40 amps is the maximum I pull on this thing anyway, even like going uphill. Um, here's the, this handles the positive or the, the, the motor wires. So it's not a positive, um, what do you call it? Distribution block. That's right down there underneath, right underneath the 60 amp breaker. That little distribution block there from the positive. Um, and then this is just a little motor. Oh, that's the negative distribution block though right here. 
Uh, but inside the motor, or underneath this fan motor rather, is what I'm trying to say, is a DC-DC converter. Um, and that takes the 48 volts, actually it's, well, what is it, 54 volts nominal, 60 volts peak, um, that I'm getting out of the uh, battery bank, and that's sending it, uh, converting it to 12 volts to operate the um, commutator. I think that's what it's called, the commutator, which has a couple brushes, so this is a brushed three-phase brushless type motor, but um, it is brushed because it has a powered commutator instead of being permanent magnet. Um, and then the other feature I want to add, um, which is kind of related to the relay, um, is this switch here. I want to make it so that this has lower speed mode, so low, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then full throttle, uh, basically because I have a couple little nieces and nephews who could ride this, and I'd like to make it safer and easier for them to ride it. Um, let's see, I think that's, that's kind of everything. Um, the back, obviously, is just a plank of wood right now. I have a back backrest with some padding, but um, just haven't installed it yet at some point. Uh, the seat, I don't have secured down right now, um, but that's fine. And then I did add a seat belt just for a little extra safety. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the whole thing.